Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. All right, so uh, Robert Sarver is in a bit of trouble with the NBA. Um, said a few things, did a few things, that sort of thing, and now he's suspended for a year, has to pay $10 million in fines, and has to, uh, you know, kind of take a class, so to speak. I wrote down Sham's official um, report here, so all right, I will read it to you here. Um, one year, $10 million, of course, we have already said, uh, and the training program uh, he'll have to take will be focused on um, respect and appropriate workplace conduct. Um, it has been said that in the findings, uh, the investigation, uh, he said that N-word five times, uh, reacting to statements of others, um, sex-related inappropriate comments about physical appearance of females, inappropriate physical conduct toward men and engaged in harsh treatment Now, a lot of that is vague to me to be honest with you um and i didn't dig further into finding out if there's any reports i'm sure more details will uh be released as uh we learn more maybe we can improve uh or evolve our opinion but at this point this is all we have uh is news um you know i mean it's tricky man it's tricky when you want to zero in on the N-word, people pick and choose who they want to allow to say it as it pertains to, um, you know, some people just get passes, it seems. And it's such a strange world we're in right now, um, too. It's very, very tricky to honestly say uh, that my opinion right now is really concrete. I'm still trying to surf through whether or not I even think I want to say that word. Uh, but what I can say is it's a hurtful word when it comes out of the mouths of people um, and it's received differently um, from person to person. So we have to respect that and the consequences that may come from that um, and the energy that that word ultimately puts out. So whether you're reciting it because you heard someone else is saying it or you're saying it because it's yours to say at the end of the day, uh, you got to know that you're going to offend somebody no matter who you are saying that word. Uh, that's just it's just the nature of the word. Um, <clears throat> as far as inappropriate statements about females, I mean, the times that we're in, first and foremost, you have to be educated on what's appropriate and what's not. A lot of people who are uh, from a different generation, older generation, they're not up on some of the norms uh, of, of what is considered appropriate and what's not. There is a necessary need for teaching of said norms, and so... As they continue to evolve, uh, all of us need to stay updated and, and continue to stay mindful of how best to uh, represent ourselves the way we want to. So um, I think that that's important in seeing the consequences, even for people like Robert Sarver, who would have a lot um, as it pertains to the arenas that he chooses to be in. He, too, must uh, behave and, 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 and uh, respect certain things in order uh, to, to solidify his spot and, and his respect in that spot. And that's just uh, something that does not sway no matter what class uh, or, uh, you're in or what walk of life you're in. Uh, if you respect yourself, uh, you will be respected and be given benefits of the doubt. And if you choose not to respect others, then it's going to be what I consider you not respecting yourself first and foremost. So, you know, I always say I want to be seen in a certain light, which is why I speak a certain way. And um, as I grow, I hope to evolve that, you know? So that's all I can do, control the man in the mirror. I'm not here to, to cast anything against no one else, including Robert Sarver. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, he's a basketball owner. Uh, nobody's asking him to be a leader in the world. No one's at, you know what I mean? As it pertains to being a role model, you know, nobody's asking him to uh, lead us in terms of, of, of what morals should be or anything of that nature. But um, as somebody who employs a lot of basketball players of different ethnicities and different um, people, you know, not just basketball players, but all different types of, of professionals, um, part of keeping the peace is understanding what everyone respects. And I think keeping the peace ultimately is a very important thing when trying to run a business. As you can see, complications such as this uh, come about when you don't. And so, it, you know, I, I, I do think the NBA is handling it um, in a way 
that doesn't allow for me to have a full opinion is the truth. Um, because I don't have details, so I don't know how offended or not offended to be. Uh, so that's what I'll say about the way the NBA is handling it. They're being very careful as to leave a lot of questions. And I don't know that that's, I don't know if that's a good thing or not when you're considering um, the fullness of, of what the offenses appear to be. They're too vague. They potentially offend too many. And I think it would probably be better served if we had some either some detail as to what exactly took place or um, maybe less detail, to be honest with you. Maybe less, honestly. Maybe less. You know, because in situations like this, I, I look at it and I say to myself, do I want all the information or do I want none of the information? Do I want some of the information? In this case, I say some is bad. You know what I mean? Because now you can have people lining up to be offended without actually knowing if 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 it really applies to them. And so that's that's why I'm just like, ah, Shams, I don't, I don't know if that's the greatest way to, 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 to release the news. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. That That's what it was. And so um, now we look at Robert Sarver and we try to figure out whether or not to look at him like Donald Sterling. Because, see, this is also what kind of happens when you release the news in this way and now i don't know whether or not if i respect what the nba is doing because it's like okay depending on what he did is this enough or is this too much is this just right i don't know you know just and as somebody who's part of some of these groups that he may have offended i just would like to have a solid opinion i really would i think an old me would have jumped to certain conclusions when i heard the word inward ah you know what i mean and and then you have to make sure you read the words after that, for which is or which says that he's, you know, stating what someone else said, as opposed to going around calling people the N-word, you know what I mean? Because you can let your mind run with that stuff. You know, he made fun, he, what was the words that they used? Uh, made inappropriate statements about females appearance. You know how many, how broad <laughs> that scale could be? How bad? <laughs> that could actually be in someone's mind when you just consider the broadness of all of that I just I just understand that you know sometimes sometimes people have enemies and their enemies don't want to paint the picture to make it look as balanced as possible maybe maybe they want to make it look as if you know you're worse than you are or kick you when you're down or something like that I don't know but you know how my brain works. I always look at things a little differently than everybody else, I suppose. But at the end of the day, um, I don't know how to feel about this. Plain and simple. The things that I heard don't make me feel great, but um, I reserve the right to learn more. And so that's how I feel about the situation. I think uh, all in all, the Suns have to move forward. You know, they don't particularly have to react to this at all. You know, until there's some audio released or some 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 emails or something, as to which this goes into a entire, entirely different level, as to which I start wondering how long have they been doing the investigation, and how long did they allow behavior to take place while they were doing said investigation, and so on and so forth. And then it's a whole lot of questions that come from that, which is why I want more detail or, dare I say, less. <laughs> I think the best way to handle this is either give us all that detail to say, Robert Sarver has been fined $10 million and will be suspended for one year for conduct detrimental to the NBA uh, employment policy, whatever word wording it is, and leave it at that. Don't put all that race in word, all that other stuff, because then it's like, okay, well, I have more questions. Now, what's up? What'd he say? What exactly did he say? What's the context in which it was said? Was he rapping at some? Was he, you know what I mean? Inappropriate con physical contact with men. Was it sexual in nature? Was he high-fiving dudes? Was he hitting dudes with towels? Like on some, he thinks he's something he's not, you know, one of the boys type of thing. No context, no context. I'd imagine if it was sexual in nature, it would be a whole lot of questions to be asked about how guys reacted to that. Things of that nature. So it's like, okay, all right. Too many questions, you guys. You left too many questions for us. And so I'm sure then the details will come out. I'm sure they will. And as they do, we will form opinions about how we think the NBA um, handled him in terms of punishment. Because uh, they kicked Sterling out of the league. You feel me? 
And it seems to me that there may be a facet of people who may want him kicked out of the league too for this. Depending on what was said and how it was said. So, you know, and it's not going to be about the moral police. It's going to be about the balance police. It's going to be some people like, well, um, you know, we got Sterling out of here for similar stuff. How, how come he doesn't get treated the same way? What's, what is the standards for said things? And then that's going to be a headache for our commissioner, David, um, excuse me, um, Adam Silver. Rest in peace of the great David Snyder. So this is what it is, man. Um, I, I am just going to assume that Robert Sarver is going to do what it is that they are asking him to do. Obviously, he's a millionaire, $15 million donation. That's all it is. It's a donation. Um, they call it a fine, but what are you going to do? It's a billionaire, man. Um, and that's what it is. It's a, like I said, it's about how you want to be represented. When you've won in the financial race in, in, in America, you got the American dream, then it's about your choices. You choose to be someone who respects yourself. You choose to be someone who respects others. Do you choose to be a good employer? And if so, are you ready for what comes with not doing so? Are you prepared for the backlash and the, and the bad vibes or whatever the heck you want to call it? I don't know. Does, does money help that? I don't know. I don't know. You know, so I, I just I look up and say at the end of the day, it's probably much easier to keep the peace. However, best to do that. And if it happens to, to make you a better person in the mirror, hooray, right? That's, that's what I say about that, man. So, my name is BDF44. I thank you guys for allowing me to share whatever opinion they allow me to have. And, uh, you know, I've been praying for the spirit of forgiveness. You know what I mean? But I first like to understand what it is that I choose or not choose to forgive. And so that's the most important thing. Uh, there won't be any forgiveness applied until I know if there's any reason to be apologized to and as of right now, not certain. Probably not, to be honest. Uh, but he will have to apologize to some ladies. He will have to apologize to some guys he may have touched. And ultimately, there's some context to learn about the N-word, I guess. And a conversation to be had about what's appropriate for all of us. So, that's pretty much it. My name is BDL44. Thank you all for watching. <laughs>